Okay. It'll be a disaster. A disaster, I tell you. Calm down. What are you talking about? My masterpiece. It will change everything. Amuse, astound, titillate, and open people's eyes to Cleon's machinations. But I need you. I'm no actor or poet, Aristophanes. By the gods, no. It's Thespis. My leading man is missing. A play with no star is no play at all. So where would I find him? Thespis usually doesn't go far from his home. You'd best start there. This shouldn't take long. Prepare the show, and I'll be back as soon as I find him. look like an actor, unless you're playing an Athenian guard. I... I... Hush! I'm going to ask some questions, and you're going to answer. But Commander Rexenor... What's your name? Bullis. Well, Bullis, it's your choice whether you walk out of here. Do you understand? Yes. You'd better be telling me everything. All I know is they wanted to keep this actor busy. See for yourself, he's at the tavern. You sure that's all? I just follow the commander's orders. I don't ask questions. I'm sorry, but you can't be trusted to live. I'm evil. Aha! You're mine! Just gonna break your shield. Powered attack. Come on. Hiya! Hi. Come here! Hi! Yeah! For you guys who didn't know, I made a poll in community tab, and the final result was the evil ending. So yeah, I'm, I'm just killing everyone. Even though I don't want to, yeah. He loves to stay. I think he's had enough. And what business is it of yours, friend? Yeah, what business? Oh, look at you. You'd best be leaving. I'm here for his employer, Aristophanes. So, he's not working now? Yes, he's not working. I like him, though. Aristophanes, funny man. But the opinions told him it's dangerous. That it is. I need him sober and rested. I don't think you understand the situation. Commander Raxenor's orders are his not to leave. I said I'd stay. Don't want trouble. Go take your boys somewhere else. You will regret that. Get going. From your smell, you already know where the goat pens are. I'm sure they miss you. I's not feeling too good. Come here, big boy! I like how in this game it does not say actually you cannot kill more civilians so there's no limit actually that is so cool what should I do now kill Athenian guards oh there it is he's hiding come here there we go why citizens even fighting with me bastards Get out of here. What more? Okay, let's change weapon. 
Oh. Fuck out of me, bloody bear. We have got you. Tell me that was the last one. Another one, I'll get. Too many mercenaries here. Nowhere to run, you cornered. Okay. One more coming. Finally. Look at this mess. Let's go, buddy. Thank you, but you can go no further. For I know true love. I just need you ready to perform tomorrow. Of course, and I just need my muse. My love, I can't. I won't perform without her. You need to sober up. This play is important. So is a Caterini. I need my muse. Please. She's just west of here at the house of Aphrodite. If it means you'll do the play, I'll find your muse. Uh, sometimes I wonder if leaving Cephalonia was a good idea. Muse. Hmm, not my usual type. Too many muscles. But if you've got a drachmi, we can come to an arrangement. Thespis said I'd find you here. Ah, my darling Thespis, an artist in so many ways. But let's talk about us. I thought you were Thespis's great love. That is love. This is commerce. So, what are you into? No. Thespis wants you to go to him. He needs you to help him perform tomorrow. Thespis does love to perform, but he'll be doing it without me this time. But you're his muse? Commander Exenor has made it clear it would cost me my life if I were to associate with Thespis right now. Don't worry. I'll deal with Commander Exenor. 
You don't understand what a bastard he is. He's more than just some Athenian soldier. What do you mean? Secret meetings, strange visitors. He gives me the creeps. You'll have to kill him. There's no other option. If I do this, will you go to Thespis? It'd be my pleasure. Don't worry. I'll take care of him. Bring me back his little sword as proof. <sighs> I'll be back soon. Let no man be called happy before his death. Till then, he's not happy. There seems Only little Rick. doubt that Drexenor is aligned with the cult of Cosmos. Get the shot! Is this proof enough of his death? Not quite the sword I meant, but as long as he's dead. My part is done. Go make sure Thespis is at the theater in time for his performance. You are too tense. Come here and lie a while. We've time to have a little fun. Or is it always business with you? Is it with you? So blood does pulse in those veins. It roars. But what of Thespis? Thespis is an actor. Half the girls here have been his muse at one time or another. Now, we need to worry about Thespis and Aristophanes' play. This play is important to you. With it, we hope to make change. For the better. I can see there is more in your eyes. But we are all entitled to our secrets. It's enough for you to know that I plan to stop men like Commander Exenor and Cleon. Please tell me you have news of Thespis. He's fine. And he'll be fit to perform your play tomorrow. Oh, thank the gods. I know what actors can be like. Compared to what I'm used to, it was a breath of fresh air. That is so good to hear. Here, for your troubles. The people may be the heart of Athens, but my play will be his voice. <laughs> oh! Happy day for us and for our children if Cleon should perish! You also know what a pig's education he has had! Such insults! And to think I was going to propose a statue to be erected in the city to each of you for your bravery! See! He treats us like old daughters and crows at our feet to deceive us. But the cunning wherein his power lies shall this time recoil on himself. Ah! 
Alas! The conspirators are murdering me! I received word that Ermipos is dead. Very interesting. I should have stayed. Someone needed to stop Cleon. Fools look backwards in times like these. And you're no fool. For now, we work to save Mitilini. So that's what all this is? Some kind of plan? Ever since I heard Cleon speak of Mitellini, I have known something was wrong, and I have been taking steps to find out just what. If we know where Cleon is, I should just kill him. The problem here does not end with the death of one person. We have the whole of Athens to consider. So, other methods are in play. A student of mine poses as a guard at the Acropolis as we speak. It's an unusual method, but these are desperate times. Then they call for desperate measures. You've always been honest with me. Since we first met and you admitted to tampering with the ostracism vote, you've proven you care about the truth. And that is what I seek now. What if there's nothing to find? Then we will act accordingly. Preparing for an outcome that may never exist helps no one, wouldn't you agree? Socrates, Cleon deserves to die. As do we all, eventually, but only the gods decide when. He decided when he sent that fleet to bring death to an entire island. So, you believe it's good to kill one man to save 1,000? Definitely. And what if Cleon believes killing a 1,000 will save a million? Is that a good act? What defines his actions as good? For that matter, what defines yours? I define myself, and I'm not Cleon. Nor is any Athenian I've ever known. But to convince them of that, we need proof. Where do you need me to go? To the western section of the Acropolis Sanctuary. I'll find something at the Acropolis that Cleon won't be able to deny. Good. I'm headed soon to speak in front of the people at the Pedix. If you find anything that can help, meet me there. I'll be quick. Socrates <laughs> was right. This is exactly what we needed. Good, you're here. The people are waiting for me to speak. You should be able to use this to your advantage. It's what I could find about Cleon. Mitellini is just the first of many places that he wants to wipe out. With the sway he has over the polis, He'd get the votes for death every time. Then it's up to us right now to change their minds. So you'll join me? How am I supposed to help? You're the speaker, not me. That's exactly why you'll be able to help. I need you to act like the people who support Cleon. It won't be easy, but I'll do what I can. Socrates, Cleon is a man of the people. Tell me, if you harm someone with a sword, are you not responsible? I am. What if you hired someone else to harm another? Are you still responsible for that harm? That's ridiculous. I'm not harming the person. Someone else is. Would the person not have been safe from harm otherwise? From me, at least, yes. Then, you admit you bear responsibility for that harm, for you have still participated in it, even if indirectly. I suppose I do. 
we have agreed that we may harm another, even if not by our own hands. That's right! So, let me ask you another question. Who should you trust? The many, or the one who has more expertise? I follow the one with expertise. Surely they know better than I do. Then your decision is based only on what another says. It's all I have to go off of. And if they lied? People who lie to me don't deserve my trust. Nor should they. After all, if someone lies to you a single time, what's to say they would not do so again? Yes, you're right. So, you agree that someone who lies to you is not worthy of leading? Of course! Oh, Athenians! Would you not also agree that you can have responsibility for harming another, even through someone else? I would! And would you follow someone you found out had lied to you for their own gain? Of course not! Above all things, therefore, I beg, and implore you, hear these words. The one you currently follow is lying for his own gain. Cleon has lied to you in order to get the votes needed to attack Mytilene, and we have the proof he'll do it again. Should the ship arrive in Mytilene, the people stand no chance of surviving. Now that you know the truth, you can take back your decision. Another vote must be called. The lives of those people are in your hands, too. The ship must be stopped. That was a great display of rhetoric. The people will be unable to deny what they heard. All we did was talk. What we did was far more. We used proof and clear argument to bring forth an outcome that will not just hurt Cleon, but hopefully save countless lives. But was it enough? I believe word of Cleon's misdeeds will be shared throughout Athens. Its citizens love the city and what it stands for. Nobody wishes for it to fall. So, what's next? The play was a great success, as I knew it would be. With that and the proof you presented at the Phoenix, Cleon has lost much of his popularity. Now he heads to Amphipolis in an effort to redeem himself. Alexios! Brasidas sent me to find you. He's alive and well. Where is he now? Amphipolis. They're preparing for battle. If you reach him before I do, tell him I'm on the way. So, what are you going to do? Cleon dies now. This is our chance. The plan is already working. Death shouldn't be brought early, even to someone like Cleon. He's exactly the type death should come early to. Not all who live deserve to grow old, Socrates. And you decide who deserves it? This time, I do. Ah, then safe travels. Brasidas, you're here. You 
got my message. I heard about Pilos. Are you all right? I've been through worse. We have bigger problems right now. This is our chance, Prasidas. We kill Cleon today. If you don't, then I will. There's something you're not telling me. <sighs> I am here for Cleon. Let's keep it at that. I thought we were friends. You're not who I thought you were. You were raised Spartan. You should know how to be loyal. I did what I thought was right. You hurt my reputation. I can fix that, Brasidas. Let me fix it. It's too late. Let me explain. I know you killed Nikolaos. You... How? You showed up in Magaris, and the wolf died. No explanation needed. That man destroyed my life. And they made him a general for it. I had no choice. We're wasting time. Athens is gathering reinforcements. I we need to attack now. Let's go. Malaka. Today, we give everything we have. No giving up. The Athenians are here! Spartans, charge! Archers on the wall! They need to be shot down! Now!
Personally. <laughs> Shit. your fight, Alexios. Unfortunately for you, it is. It's not too late, you know. You can still join us. We're not in Athens. You can't talk. Alexios, come now. Show mercy. You turned her against us. My own sister. We lifted Themos up. We made her great. Unstoppable. You made her a monster! Then fight by her side! Teacher, you would have Themos once again! Her name is Cassandra. I beg you! This world is severed, Alexios, and we'll unite it! Shut the fuck up! My hands are empty! Have pity! You will die, just as you lived, as a coward. I'm not through. I won't be forgotten for all I've done. You're not worth the memory. to know Cleon is dead. And Brasidas. I should have gotten to the most sooner. I'm sorry, my friend. My lamb, you've been gone so long. Brasidas is dead. No. Vimos killed him in battle. And what of my daughter? Cleon fired an arrow into Vimos' back. The wound didn't look fatal. She could still be alive. Malakas, Cleon. I'll kill him with my bare hands. It's done, Mater. I already sent that snake to the sticks. My family. You're all I have left. Mater. There's something I need to do. I need to go to Mount Taeyetos, where it all began. My whole life's been spent fighting and running. Running from my past, fighting to forget. I can't do this anymore. My heart was shattered on that mountain. I need to put that night behind me, once and for all. I'm coming with you. This is where everything changed. It's like I never left. Cassandra! On the edge of the world, a mother calls out to her child. Touching. Cassandra! Please! You use that name as if it means something to me. It's 
The name your father and I gave you. Was that before or after you brought me to this mountain to die? It was the cult. I tried to save you. I did everything. The priest told me you were dead. And they told me you abandoned your daughter. Cassandra, come to me. We are your family. We can go home. Family? Home? <laughs> The cult is my family. The battlefield is my home. I told you, Mater. She's beyond reason. Beyond reason? Is that what you told Mater? Why didn't you tell her the truth? And what truth is that? That I'm the chosen one. I'm the one with the destiny. I will bring order to this world. You're nothing but a mercenary with a... Broken spear. You don't have a destiny. You're just a tool used by the cult. I'm glad you said that. Since we first met, I've been trying to figure out what you are to me. You're a weed. Trying to choke and destroy everything I've planted! And you know the best way to kill a weed? Is at the root. Cassandra! <clears throat> when I was little, I found a lion cub. Trapped in a snare. My friend tried to free it. That's when I heard the deadly growl of its mother. I watched as the lioness tore my friend to bloody shreds. Even in a world of peace, a family protects its young! I loved you! I still love you. The one you love is dead. And my destiny is clear. I won't let you get in my way. I tried saving you once, and it cost me everything. But you are beyond saving. You won't survive the mountain this time. I tried to save you! Stop living in the past, brother! Your death is now! You've hurt this family for the last time! <laughs> That's where you're wrong. The hurting has only just begun. So disappointing! of Leonidas was wasted on you. Who trained you, mother? Father, you should have trained with the cult. It would have made this fight more interesting. Soon you'll be dead, and so will your precious cult.
this time. Cassandra! And there it is, the bad ending. <laughs> evil ending, more like. I don't know if it's evil. But bad for sure. <laughs> world and you did is she gonna jump come let's go home okay she didn't jump that's good Cassandra was maniac witch. Oh my god. This is what you asked for, guys. An evil ending. Here it is. She's dead. And we have lots of cool stuff. Check this out. Definitely worth it. Oh god, look at this. No helmets. Demigod. 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 And Demigod. Demigod set completed. I know you do what's right in your heart. But you have to put your family first, Lan. Well, too late for that. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Let's do this one. You used to bolt around this place like a calf in the field. You wouldn't slow down. I remember. You chipped that, chasing your pater around the table. I remember that too. So many memories. With more to come. so bad was it it'll never be the same i thought it could but it'll take some work it's impossible to see through the god's eyes they have a plan you know if we could then we'd know just what to do i don't think the gods can take credit for this one barnabas an urn is only as strong as its potter alexios urns are pretty easy to break just remember, no matter who surrounds you, I'll be there. And the others are waiting for us on the ship. Right behind you. So yeah, that was the ending of Odyssey. But... We still have this guys, the cult ending and this Atlantis thing ending. I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish this both. Don't you worry. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Welcome back. Oh, here's the birdie. What up birdie? But yeah, looks like this is it. I'm gonna see you next video guys. Peace out.